today I'm going to show you how to put this Alice in Wonderland cake together. Let's get started. We'll start by carving the cake into the shape we want. There are three different parts. One top tier that contains three layers and two parts of bottom tier. Bottom one has two layers and bottom two has one. I'm going to start with bottom two. I need to carve the front part to look like an open book. For the back part, I need to level it out with the same round size as the kit layer that I'll place on top. Now moving on to the bottom layer of bottom one tier. First, level it out. Next, carve it in an angle. The bottom part will be placed on the open book that I carved earlier. Next will be the top layer of the bottom one tier. First carve it in an angle as well, but not as much as the bottom layer just now. For the top, instead of leveling it out, we'll cut it in an angle. The top is now slanted, but we need to create a flat surface so the top tier can sit evenly on it. So we'll use the cake board as a guide, carve a round shape even area for the cake to sit on. Cake carving for an uneven looking cake may seem a little confusing at the beginning, don't be discouraged by it. Once you have learned how to do it, you can use the same technique to make many other cool looking topsy-turvy cakes. Moving on to the top tier, the top tier also has three layers. I'll first even out the two lower layers so I can stack all three together then cut it in an angle. The very top part of the top layer will have a slanted angle as well. The hardest part is done. Now I'm going to fill and frost the cake, starting by crumb coating it. I'm not going to give too much details in this part. If you're a total beginner in frosting and stacking cakes, you can watch one of my videos about this. I'll provide a link in the description below. The cake is not a normal shape. The bottom layer of the bottom tier is going to be an open book. If I put the other two cylinder layers on top of this now, it will be almost impossible to frost properly because of the different shapes sitting on top of each other. Now I'm going to work on the second and third layer of the bottom tier. This part will be placed on top of the book. I'm going to frost this part on a temporary cake board.
moving on to the upper tier. Now that the crumb coat is set and hardened, I can apply the outer layer of buttercream. And this is how you stack an uneven shaped cake. Time to decorate.
sticking something on the side of the cake that has no other form of support underneath it. I usually will insert a toothpick under it until after the buttercream has set and hardened in the fridge. This way I can be sure that the piece will stay where it should be and secure. Here are some decorative pieces that I have made with some fondant molds. It doesn't involve any special skills so I didn't make a video out of it. Put this in the fridge to set. Couple of hours later, everything has set and hardened. Now I can remove the toothpick. And this is now completed.